On December 14, 2024, a day etched in the memory of San Franciscans, the city found itself under an unprecedented threat, a tornado warning. This marked the first time in recorded history that such an alert had been issued for the iconic city by the bay. The heart of San Francisco, a place more accustomed to earthquakes and fog, was now facing the raw power of a potential twister. The National Weather Service or NWS sounded the alarm, their sophisticated radar systems detecting a swirling vortex within the storm clouds approaching the city. The warning sent shockwaves through the city. San Francisco, known for its steep hills and Victorian architecture, is not built for the onslaught of tornado force winds. Residents, caught off guard by the unusual weather event, scrambled for information and safety. The usually bustling streets emptied as people sought shelter in basements, interior rooms, and anywhere they felt protected from the impending danger. The storm, carrying the threat of a tornado, swept through the city, leaving a trail of debris and destruction in its wake. Trees were uprooted, power lines downed, and debris scattered across roads and sidewalks. The Richmond District and Golden Gate Park bore the brunt of the storm's fury, with reports of significant damage to property and infrastructure. The storm's passage was swift, but its impact was undeniable, leaving San Franciscans to assess the aftermath and grapple with the reality of their city's vulnerability to extreme weather events. As the storm moved on, leaving behind a city shaken and bewildered, the National Weather Service deployed its team of experts to assess the damage and determine if a tornado had indeed touched down. The team's mission was crucial, to understand the forces that had just ripped through San Francisco and to separate fact from speculation. Their investigation focused on analyzing the pattern of damage, looking for telltale signs that could differentiate between the destructive power of a tornado and that of straight-line winds. The survey's findings surprised many. Despite the radar indication of rotation, the damage observed was not consistent with a tornado. Instead the evidence pointed to straight-line winds, a meteorological phenomenon capable of producing damage that, while often mistaken for that of a tornado, originates from a different atmospheric process. Straight-line winds, as their name suggests, travel in a straight path unlike the rotating column of air that defines a tornado. These winds, however, are nothing to scoff at. The NWS estimated that the straight-line winds that lashed San Francisco reached speeds of up to 80 miles per hour, powerful enough to uproot trees, tear off roofs, and send debris flying like projectiles. The damage, while significant, was localized, concentrated in areas directly in the path of the most intense wind gusts. The NWS concluded that while a tornado had not materialized, the city had experienced the raw power of nature in a way few had witnessed before. While San Francisco breathed a collective sigh of relief that a tornado had been averted, the storm was far from over. As the system moved south, it unleashed its fury on the town of Scotts Valley, located approximately 67 miles south of San Francisco. Here, unlike in San Francisco, the swirling winds evident on radar materialized into a full-fledged tornado. Touching down around 1.40 p.m. PST, the tornado carved a path of destruction through the town, leaving behind a scene of chaos and devastation. The Scotts Valley tornado, confirmed by eyewitness accounts, video footage, and the telltale pattern of damage, stood in stark contrast to the San Francisco event. This was a true twister, its violently rotating column of air leaving no doubt about its power. The tornado, rated EF-1 on the enhanced Fujita scale, packed winds of 86 to 110 miles per hour, strong enough to cause significant damage to well-built structures. Cars were tossed aside like toys, trees snapped like twigs, and roofs ripped off buildings, exposing their interiors to the elements. The Scotts Valley Police Department reported multiple cars thrown off Mount Hermon Road near a local Target store. Several people were injured, some seriously, and were transported to trauma centers for treatment. Thankfully, despite the extent of the damage and the fear that gripped the town, no fatalities were reported. The Scotts Valley tornado served as a stark reminder that even in a state not typically associated with tornadoes, the forces of nature can unleash their fury with devastating consequences. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe.